There was a big shakeup in the business of sport in our nation today. Telecom giant Bell is selling its 37.5% share of Maple Leaf Sports and Entertainment to Rogers, which means Rogers will soon own 75% of MLSE. The deal is worth $4.7 billion. Now, before the deal, Bell and Rogers had equal shares of MLSE, which owns the Toronto Maple Leafs, the Raptors, the Argos, Toronto FC, and the Marlies. Rogers already owns the Blue Jays and broadcaster Sportsnet. Part of the deal allows Bell Media to continue broadcasting the Leafs and Raptors on TSN for the next 20 years. And the deal still requires league and regulatory approval. For more on this, let's bring in Olin Scott, an associate professor in sport management at Brock University. Olin, why do you think Bell is selling its shares? What's the goal here? Well, for them, I mean, as we've been reading and hearing, they, they kind of need a little bit of money. And sport valuations are at the moment at an all-time high. So they're getting out right at the peak or what is for them right at the peak so that they can uh, transition their company from being a telco to a tech co. Uh, and their stock at the moment is declared junk status. No one really wants it. Um, and so this this injection of you know four four point eight billion in funds will really help their business to to evolve and to drive it, and they're getting out of sports at a at a really good moment where sport valuations are at an all time high. Tell me more about that sports valuations being at an all time high. When you've seen like the NF the NFL, uh, the, their teams are, are record record valuations. NBA teams are record valuations. All the teams that people are trying to get into, there's a, such a limited supply of sporting teams, and the leagues keep the supply really small that the demand to own uh, these teams is really high. So it continues to drive the evaluations up. I think the Washington Commanders were sold for six point something billion uh, recently, and you saw the, the Phoenix Suns have setting a record. Now they're expecting the Boston Celtics when they sell later on this year or into next year, having another record sale. Do you think this is gonna be a good deal for the fans? Or are they gonna notice a change for the positive or for the negative? Uh, at the moment, it seems like it's a mixed bag. You know, it's sort of the standard uh, as we go for a little bit, or for a little while, but we've seen uh, people talk that, you know, Rogers and some of the other owners are not really investing in players or investing in training centers to have teams winning. Teams are always making money. They're always bringing fans in, but they're not winning. And you see this dearth of winning in the Toronto marketplace beyond the Raptors. No teams really won uh, for, for in recent history. So it could be that if they really invest in the players and in the coaches and the teams, you have, could have some more championships, but there also could be the, the other side where they're investing in the business and not in, in the players and not in the entertainment. That's Olin Scott from Brock University. Thanks for your time, Olin. Thank you very much.